Hi, we're going to take a look at a couple of methods on automating fractions in InDesign. And this is going to work only if you use open type fonts. Now that shouldn't be too much of a crisis. I'll show you if I highlight this text right here and go up to my font menu. Uh, any of the fonts with the O's in front of them like Minion Pro are open type fonts so they have a special set of characters built into them for fonts. In fact with this selected if I go over to the glyphs panel and I pick up numbers you'll see that it has the regular Arabic numbers and it has numerators and denominators and some fractions already in here so you could use this to change your fractions. Uh, one method is if you go up and highlight your one forward slash four you could come back over in the glyph panel and double click and that would replace that with a proper looking fraction. Um, that's not so bad if you have one or two and if you have the fractions in the font built for the fractions that you need but what if you want to have some fraction that you don't have so let me undo this and so let's say if I put in here 23, uh, let's say 40 fifths, and highlight this, there's not going to be any 23 40 fifths over in my glyphs panel just to double click on. So that's not going to cut it. So one method is because this is an open type font, I can select this font, excuse me, I can select this fraction go to the control panel on the upper right of my screen into the pop-out menu on there and pick open type and then come over and pick fractions. Now this particular font Minion Pro has the open type feature of fractions to work. It doesn't show a bracket around a name like this titling alternatives. That means it's not a function of this particular font. But this font does have fractions. There's no brackets around it telling me that it's not a function of this particular font. So I could go ahead and click fractions. Then it takes the numerators and denominators from the open type glyph panel and applies them to that selection and makes me a proper fact fraction. Now this again is fine if you don't have too many to do. So another method is, let me change this back to 1 forward slash 4. And the reason it's still coming up as a fraction is because over in the control panel, under the pop-out menu under open type, it's still acting with this toggle on of fractions. I'm going to turn that off. So what I'm going to do here is I'll highlight this and I'll turn this off and it's going to go back to 1 forward slash 4. So here's another method you could do if you had several paragraphs in this instance where I've got paragraphs with different fractions here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, take 1 forward slash 3 and I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go into my uh, find and change panel or menu under edit and I can say find all of the paste one forward slash threes change them to all one forward slash three but I'm going to come down here in the change format and I'm going to specify the attributes to change of open type feature and I'm going to make sure this has a check mark on it. So I'm going to click here and make sure it has a check mark. So now what it should do when I search this story I'll find the first forward one forward slash three that I have. There it is. I'll change it. It will change it to one forward slash three but the formatting will be of an open type fraction. 
So now if I had this whole story had a whole bunch of these one forward slash threes, I could go through and find the next one and change it. So this is one method to go through and take a series of homemade fractions, I'll call them, one forward slash three, one forward slash four, whatever, and you could do the same fraction and convert it to an open type fraction. I'm going to click done. I'm going to undo here a couple times and go back here. Now doing some research on this, I discovered uh, an Adobe expert by the name of Michael Murphy and he calls himself the InDesigner and you can go ahead and do a search on his uh, web page and he recently had a little story in the online magazine that I recommend that you invest in called um, InDesign Magazine. It's a uh, subscription based PDF magazine that you can buy um, and you download it every month or every other month when it comes out and it's just jam-packed full of information. Uh, you can find that at www.indesignmag.com and in one of the articles uh, I found where he had written what was called a grep, G-R-E-P expression to automate this feature and this is a little bit like programming and so what we're going to do here is I'm going to build a couple of uh, styles. I have an open type fraction style here. Let me um, deselect anything I have here. I built a character style called open type fractions. Uh, the only thing it's turned on in this character style is the open type feature where I have made a check mark by fractions. The next thing I've done is um, from the Michael Murphy article. He showed this fancy variable expression that he figured out that would work to automate the process of doing fractions within body copy without doing dates that also have this forward slash in here. So what we did is we took this expression that he wrote and he put it up on the magazine for us to copy or a website and I'll copy that. Now this is going to be a little bit complicated. What we did then is we took and we built a body copy style. And this is just the body copy that I'm using in this particular document. It's using the Minion Pro font. And what I did on the left is I came over to what was called grep expression. And what you do is let me uh, delete this one. I'm going to add what's called a new grep st style. And there's books, thick books written about this and it's a little bit beyond me but I'm going to click new grep style. The first thing is it says apply this grep style to what character style? Well I made up a character style called open type fractions and I want to apply this grep code that Mr. Murphy made out and figured out I take it down in this area where it says to text, I delete this code, and I'm going to paste in Michael's code on faith. I'm going to click OK. Now what I'm going to do is I have that, and I'm just going to highlight these four paragraphs. And I come over here, and I click on body copy with fractions, and now it's going to apply the open type fraction character style with this grep expression applied to that. And all I do is click body copy with fractions. And through the magic of television and Michael Murphy figuring out this grep variable, it automatically will go in here and apply this uh, 
open type fraction numerator and denominators only to fractions not to dates it can distinguish because he wrote this variable that's looking for more than one slash and it sees that the fraction only has one slash so it knows only to apply it to that so if I hit a return and come down here and I say um, all shirts uh, two thirds off until 12 12 20 12 you can see it automatically turned this um, kind of a homemade fraction into a real live open type fraction so I, I'm not taking any credit for this this is coming from Michael Murphy and let me put down his name here it's Michael Murphy um, I found the article in an online magazine I subscribe to called InDesign Magazine. The website for this is www.indesignmag.com. It's an awesome site. Uh, in fact, I'll call it up here just to show it to you here. Let me pull up my browser and I'll go to that. Take a second here. I'll call up my browser and I'm going to make a new browser window and I'll bring this over so you can see it. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go in www.indesignmag.com. Uh, this is the magazine. Uh, it is absolutely worth its weight in gold. It's inexpensive. Uh, it's great. Uh, you also have access to all their back issues if you go ahead and subscribe to it and their super guides. Uh, what I did is I did a search in here in the search area for fractions and I found this article in one of the back issues and that's where I found that variable or that grep variable so I would encourage you to subscribe to this this is a very very good resource let me close out of here and again basically the only thing I had to do was make a initial character style that only was taking into effect uh, the open type feature of fractions that's the only thing I had to have there I built a new uh, we'll say body copy style and I came over on the left where it said grep style and I made myself let me delete this again just to make it clear I made a new grep style it says which character style would you like to apply this grep style to I said open type fractions down in this area is where I paste uh, Michael's code grep variable up here. I paste that into here and on faith and that's what it is um, I I didn't figure this out I don't take any credit for this I click OK and now I can go ahead and apply that uh, style to this paragraph and it goes ahead and it makes the fractions work properly without affecting these dates. So I just want to pass this tip on to you. Uh, again, I take no credit for this grep variable. Um, Michael Murphy is the one who figured this out. He's an Adobe certified uh, community expert. Uh, I found it in the online magazine of InDesign Magazine and that can be found at InDesignMag.com.